Well, as progress is made on the $10 million renovation of the Wichita County Courthouse, the county is also looking down the street at its aging annex building, also known as a tax office. Yeah, Curtis Jackson spoke with Precinct 1 Commissioner Mark Beecham about this today. And Curtis, where is this funding coming from? Well, Beecham says they're using federal COVID recovery funds and says although they're making progress, they still have a long way to go in the more than $3 million renovation. Now, today, they approved almost a half million dollars for an interior makeover. If you've been inside the Wichita County Annex, whether to get your vehicle registered or handle tax business, then you've seen the outdated and cracking interior of the building, something that Beecham says is about to change. Much of the design of the two different tax offices, the motor vehicle office and the property tax office, was designed on a modular furniture concept. So that was already part of the remodel contract. Uh, we just approved the expenditures of those funds today. Beecham says they'll be spending roughly half a million dollars on new furniture, fixtures, and other improvements for the building that hasn't seen much change since the county bought it in the 70s. That's floor tiles, carpet, ceiling tiles, everything, HVAC. Uh, it's time for an update. A process that won't be easy. We should start the actual construction sometime uh, mid to late March. We're waiting to get uh, a lot of the materials, building materials in, so we, we do not have any delays while we're doing the actual construction. Beecham says aesthetics isn't their only concern, though. In between projects, they've been struggling to get the elevators fixed. In fact, in Tuesday's meeting, a rep from the elevator company TK was supposed to show up and explain why the problem still hasn't been fixed, but that rep was a no-show. Unsure of what the exact fix is at this point, uh, we're continuing to work with the TK Elevator Company to get that resolved. Uh, it works, but it, it's finicky. It works when it wants to work. So in the meantime, Beecham asked the public to be patient while crews work to make the Wichita County Annex a more appealing experience when walking through the doors. Now Beecham says construction should begin in the spring with the exterior work, which he says will bring back some of the original look of the building from the 30s. Oh, that's going to be nice. Yeah, that's exciting yeah, right there. Yeah, it really is. Okay, Curtis, thank you so much.